look. As I take photos. I'm conducting an experiment here between a 50 hertz meter, 240 volts, and an American meter, the J4S, which is 60 hertz, also 240 volts. But I've wired it into the single wire setup, so she technically records the same amount of data. So this is a dial test on the meter. We're just going to analyze what drift we're going to get between the two. At the moment, most beaters uh, seem to be keeping step quite well, so we'll see what happens. <coughs> this is a Sangamo S231 with a constant of 16623 revolutions per kilowatt hour, equates to 6 watt hour per revolution. This is a Sangamo type J4S, the constant is 7.2 watt hour per revolution. It equates to 138.8 revolutions per kilowatt hour. I got this meter while I was uh, tornado chasing in the States. I purchased it on uh, the web. This is actually about six, seven hours later. I think I've just clicked over, but these, both these meters have flipped the holes on them. So this stage the meters have clocked up about 17 units. It seems the Sangamo, the 60 hertz Sangamo the J4S has recorded a little bit more units. I'm going to publish this part of the video and then uh, my following long term is going to be on the next video. So yeah, the 60 hertz meters seem to make a bit more advantage.